exciting day for us. We're at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum and we're getting ready to take the, uh, the ride through the Missionary Ridge. Really excited about that. <laughs> of course, this is our first time here. We're gonna go check out the trains over there. We're gonna be on a, you know, an old uh, steam, steam train with the passenger cars. And I actually got to speak with the, uh, the foreman down in the shop. They have a restoration shop down there and a machine shop where they work on the trains. And his name is Ryan Miller. And uh, I was hooked up with him. And he is going to give us a tour, a backstage tour of the machine shop. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be cool. They're supposed to have like a 90 inch swing laid down there and, a, you know, just a lot of big equipment. So it's going to be really cool. So we've got about an hour and five minutes for the next train. We missed the first one, but we're going to come down here and check out some of these trains and give you a, a shot at the uh, depot. Really nice inside. It, it really does look like a, a real train depot inside. So we'll check that out. But let's go see some of the trains they got. They have other trains that you can ride uh, diff that's scheduled for different dates and times of the years. They have like eight hour, nine hour rides, but the one we're on is uh, it's about an hour long. Man, look how big this is. It's me standing up to it. Wheels are taller than me. <laughs> I don't think they use this one. This one's probably just for display here at the museum. They got plenty of the old passenger cars here, Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis. It says Hartford and Slocum. I believe this is one of the trains I've seen on their website that they use for their uh, longer runs, like an eight hour. They also do like a, a two hour dinner ride as well. These two right here are some nice looking engines. That one sure got a nice paint job on it. Okay, so this is the train that'll be taking us down. Get a little shot of it here.
underway. Okay, end of the line. Hopefully we'll go get the uh, the shop tour now. Around, great here. shot right there. Yeah. Luckily for you, we powered the turn with the 25 horsepower motor. Kind of hard to find the volunteers. The balance turntable, so as the locomotive rolls on, once they get on, you'll watch it take a little dip at this end. That's our Everything is done by eyesight. Uh, as far as aligning yeah, the rails up, so it's extremely critical that uh, the crew make sure that it's lined up. Okay. And is that their job? Those guys? This is the tour guide, and then the conductor's the one in the turntable house. Okay. And so between between everybody on crew, you know, whoever's taking a turn working the working the ground here, they always make sure it's lined up before we bring the engine or coach on or off the turntable. I got you. Boy, what a great shot, man. Engine 
engineer Nick, he's sitting down and uh, fireman Tyler. They have kind of a, a thankless job on a day like today. I did Tyler's job for eight years while I was in high school and going through college. And it's hot up there. I bet it is. I did a I did a train with Keith Rucker one time at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture. They got a steam engine and I, I got to ride on that one. It's it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this is the same thing just on much bigger scale. Yeah. Originally the turntable was hand powered so there would be four poles on each end and big burly guys coming out of the roundhouse which would be around the turntable would come out once the engine got on and either turn it around and send it back out or they'd send it into the, one of the bays of the roundhouse for repair. But as the engines got bigger and heavier, this is a balanced turntable so you, you had to get the engine balanced just right and before it would turn. If you didn't have it turned just right, you'd be there all day. Huh. And it was manually rotated. Mm -hmm. Wow. Four big burly guys. That was great, man. I appreciate you bringing us up here. Sure. We'll get a good vantage point of it. Now he'll line it up just kind of by eyesight, and before they bring the engine on next time, they'll line everything back up. You know, sometimes the wind will actually shift the table. Oh, okay. And so they'll they'll double check everything before they bring the engine on. Okay. We're gonna check out the the shovel, load the train with some more coal. So do you know how you acquired the uh, the shovel here? The, it, was, or the, it was government surplus. Okay. Back uh, 1980, I think 1979. Uh, we just bought it off government surplus. Okay. There's, it's got clutch pads in there. You know, there's not, nothing hydraulic about it, so. Everything works on gravity. Okay. You have to, you have to continually fight gravity. Yeah. Okay. If, uh, if you're up there in the operator's department, he's, he's got to have great hand foot coordination in order to uh, to not take that big chunk of steel and slam it into something. Yeah. You know? Okay. Looks like he's got great control over it. Oh, he's he's a very good operator. Yeah, that's cool. So will this load here get them through the, the rest of the day? Yes, sir, it will. Okay. It'll 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 get about if we emptied the tender out, it would from full, it would probably last ten days. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe eight days. Oh, okay. But instead of when it's this hot outside, instead of having to move the coal from the back of the coal bunker forward, we just keep the front of the tender loaded up. That way the fireman only has to move it once, yeah. as opposed to twice or three times. I got you. Okay. Uh, Cut the coal from the back forward, so. It's always, it's always fun watching little kids just come up and, you know, see, I, here again, I do this on a daily basis. Yeah. So it, when, when folks come in and, you know, we see the little kids like that, they're just sheer amazement about the train in the crane and everything like that it's it's a good reminder you know why we're doing it i think any kid you know including myself is always fascinated with trains and anytime you see one up close you know you always get excited and you always want them to blow the horns yeah it's a neat yep. operation we got the train backing up and he's going to hook back to the rail cars here
Okay. The, the coupler opens the knuckle swings, just like the knuckle on your, on your hand. Yeah. And then that lock, when that pin drops, it locks, locks the knuckle in place so it can't come apart. Okay. And the brakes, the conductors open up the air brakes so they're fail safe. So if the, if the train breaks in two or if there's a loss of air pressure in that pipe, yeah, it immediately stops. Okay. It, uh, the, the freight trains nowadays, same thing. I'm gonna get another shot right here. Yeah. If you want to go up in there, uh, I get some stationary shots. Do you have the fire and stuff? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, we got it. We're getting a shot on the train. <laughs> it's nice and hot up here. Oh yeah. yeah. No air conditioning on this bad boy. No, just the uh, natural ventilation, huh? Yeah, natural <laughs> ventilation. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. What are you guys up to? Just uh, checking out the museum, the Roller Museum. We're up from uh, Pensacola, Florida. Awesome. Vacationing yeah. up here for a few days. Sweet, I've never yeah. been here before. So we wanted to come and do this on our last day. Okay. And uh, Ryan was real nice. He gave us a uh, tour to the machine shop. That's what I do. I'm a machinist. Okay, oh, awesome. Yeah. So I like seeing all the big machines in there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the tour. You're welcome. You fire oh, okay, yeah. It'll be hot, so it's okay. Oh, yeah. Heat coming off of it there. Wow. That's great. So this this thing right here is like the it's called the throttle. That's like our gas pedal in your car. Once you got your air back, I'm back here for air. Handle over here. Uh, I didn't really. That's okay. That's like the transmission. So it's called our reverse. We've got four in reverse. Okay. And then this handle right here controls the brakes on the trains. That's called our automatic brake. And that shiny handle down there controls just the brakes on the locomotive. That's called our independent. That's good release. Good brakes. TBRM 100. You got our steam pressure gauge up here. This is how much pressure is in the boiler. So right now it's sitting at about 185. Then we've got our water sight glass right here. That shows us how much water is in the boiler. Always want to keep water in that sight glass. Looks like you got you an Eagle oiler right there. Yeah, we've got a couple, <laughs> two different kinds of oil there. Um, just various stuff and. This little handle right here is called our blower. So what it does is it pulls more air up through the fire. You know, more, most important part of the fire is air, right? Oxygen, so it's got a big pipe that comes up out of the gray part of the front of the boiler. It's called our, our blower there, so pretty cool. Well, I appreciate you letting me see it, man. Oh, I really no do. Problem, yeah. That was great. So we're just headed back to the depot now. It was a really enjoyable ride down and a nice ride back and sure did get to enjoy seeing that machine shop. Ryan was uh, very accommodating and, and I really appreciate his hospitality showing us the shop and seeing those Niles Lays, man, that was amazing. So, we'll be back to the depot shortly. Responds his acknowledgement with two blasts on the whistle. Now, a car length is 